Okay, I know I haven't made any videos in a while. And, uh, I mean, there's a bunch of reasons. I've tried to make a few lately. Okay, for a lot of people in cities, you've got less to do because you're, you're stuck in your house. But for people living outside of cities, often they have more to do because I can't go buy food now. I can't go to town. So I'm, I'm on whatever food we've got here and I can get from, you know, local neighbors who are also growing food. There's one little store near here. But other than that, I've been busting my butt, planting more food, harvesting stuff, you know, taking care of food producing plants, fishing more, just, I've just been like working really hard. And, uh, yeah. Um, and I would take, I would definitely take that over being stuck in my house. Cause that's what I like to do anyway. anyway. So I guess this whole Corona apocalypse, the biggest effect it's had on me is just lit a fire under my butt. And uh, another reason I haven't made any videos is because like, I leave the house, I have breakfast, I leave the house and I get back and it's dark, you know? Like I haven't had time to make videos. I'm just doing this one right now while I'm digging. Um, and I started this, all right, let me just tell you how it went for me. So when I heard, first heard about this virus in China, um, I was like, hey family, let's take this opportunity to do a trial run apocalypse scenario. You know, just to see how prepared we are. So for a month, you know, we kind of locked ourselves in and we're basically quarantining ourselves. And then the, they actually started quarantining everyone. And at that point I was like, oh crap, I need to go buy some food. Because we'd already been doing it for a month. So I, I got some food, we're okay for a while. And luckily I've been, you know, working on more food sources around here. So we're okay. But then, uh, other than that, um, yeah, I've just been, I've just been working really hard on getting us more self-sufficient, which is something I've, I, I need to do. I need to do that anyway. Um, and this pile of rocks here, you know, I was thinking there, at first I was thinking, oh, I, I shouldn't, I, I'm not going to be able to buy any kind of building materials right now. So let me just work on other stuff. But then I was like out at the little store nearby the other day. And uh, I was thinking, well, maybe maybe people are, are stuck with inventory they can't unload. Let me just check. So I asked the guy, hey, do you have, do you have some sand and rocks to sell? He's like, yes, 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 please. So now two, now I'm getting two loads. This one, and I'm trying to clear space so I can fit another one on top of here. So I'm spreading it out. And so apparently there are people around who are just sitting on stuff they're trying to sell. So hopefully this helps them a little bit. Uh, definitely helps me because now I can figure out something to build with, uh, with all this stuff. Uh, what else is going on? I don't know, man. I've just been working really hard. I've been trying not to eat too much because usually when I work really hard, I just eat a ton. But I've been trying to be more efficient and uh, most of the time I'm in the shade. Right now I just got too hot from unloading all this stuff. I took my shirt off and I'm uh, out in the sun, which I shouldn't really be doing. But Five more minutes and I'll be out of here. Um, anyway, so right now I'm just trying to be efficient, not eat all our food, not get too skinny. I don't think I'm getting too skinny yet. I think I'm all right. Um, yeah, I'm just working hard. All right, I gotta go finish this. What is that? Dude, is that a rock? That is awesome. Wait a second, oops. Oh no, I dropped it in the water, you guys! Oh yeah, I was just cleaning it off, just cleaning it off, right. Except now it's dirtier. Dude, that is a rock. That is awesome. Oh, I gotta show the kids this. Dude, that is totally a rock. What a cool rock. All right, maybe I can do something useful with this video. Because now I've got all these evenings open because I finished the video game I was working on. Oh, please excuse the sound of the big fan. Oh, the big fan feels good right now. So there were two things I wanted to do this year that have been 
disrupted by the corona apocalypse. And uh, one of them is I wanted to start dating again, which I've not done in quite some time. And the other one is I wanted to start actually actively recruiting neighbors who could move down here and, you know, make a cool neighborhood, a cool, cool little community, right? Preferably, I mean, just cool people, but hopefully some people who are into inventions that I could share ideas with and blah, blah, blah. You know, you know where I'm going with this. All right, so let me go through these things real quick. First thing, um, so I wanted to start dating again. Uh, so let me back up a little bit for like the four people who don't know this. So I have kids with a young lady, and we did that as platonic friends, just because everything logistically worked out well, and uh, we both wanted to raise kids in a similar way, and it, it worked out very well. And we, well, we always kind of had in the back of our head the idea that, well, maybe we'll grow together and become more than friends, but, you know, in the last couple years it's become clear that, no, we're just happy being friends. We don't want to do anything else, because then we just get frustrated, frustrated with each other. We're good just as friends. So, and everything is good there. Everything is totally good there. Um, but, you know, I would like to have someone with whom I am more than just friends. Like, I have to play video games by myself. Who's going to play video games with me in the evenings? Not that that's a requirement, but just an example. So anyway, uh, I started dating a little bit at the beginning of the year, and then everything got shut down. But, uh, so at this point, if there's anyone out there, a, a young lady, I, I like girls, not guys, if there's a young lady out there who might be interested in this guy, uh, um, I'll, I'll leave my email down there and, and just send me a message and introduce yourself and say hi, maybe we can talk about stuff and maybe it'll go no nowhere, but you know, maybe it'll go somewhere. This feels totally weird talking about this in a video because this is way outside the subjects I normally get into. But hey, Corona apocalypse is upon us. No screwing around. All right, the other thing is I want to I want to more actively recruit uh, people who might want to be neighbors, who might want to live kind of this sort of lifestyle, off grid, self sufficient kind of stuff, growing food, you know, making inventions, whatever. And uh, you know, I've kind of passively done this over the years. Like I'll get spontaneous messages from people who are like, hey, you know, can I come check it out? And then you know. I've had a little bit of success with that, but now I want to actually, actually actively start doing it. And uh, I was building a guest house for people to come and stay for a while. Uh, but then the Corona Apocalypse thing started, and I kind of put that aside, because I was like, dude, the thing's going to be empty, because no one can travel. Although I do have a place that people could stay if someone wanted to come stay for a while and check it out. But this is all for future anyway, because right now no one can travel. So, maybe this is the perfect time to discuss such things. So, if you maybe, like seriously maybe, want to, you know, talk about moving to the area, uh, send me a message. Again, I'll put my email down here, and we can talk about it. And uh, I'll probably have some follow-up videos to this based on questions people ask. Um, yeah. You know, there is one other thing that's kind of been uh, disrupted by this corona apocalypse. I was going to shave my beard like months ago. Because, you know, at this point it starts getting in my mouth and I'm just chewing on, chewing on it all the time. And it gets in food and stuff. Um, so I don't usually let it get this long. But then I was like, oh, it's apocalypse. I gotta have a beard. So I've got to big old beard and crazy hair my hair is crazy right now okay but I, I think I'm gonna keep going with that for a while I okay with any luck somewhere between getting some neighbors or a girlfriend or something someone's gonna come and play video games with me on my big screen with my fancy controllers oh it's so fun how, how can you not want to come play video games in the middle of the wilderness oh so nice oh and the rock with the hole in it right now my one-year-old's got it he is Frodo and that is the one ring you taking the ring to Mordor? They were all saved! How's he gonna find his way to Mordor with that hat on? <laughs> Legolas! Legolas! Frodo needs help! He's... Okay, he's having a nap right now, but he's... The 
That wasn't the point! Man. Hey, piss off! <laughs> See?